Welcome to Arabesque Agenda, the show that will let you know all the arts and culture events from the Middle East communities happening here in the UK and in the Middle East. First up, let's take a look at what's up here in the UK. In the author's first ever appearance in the UK, Jordanian author Amjad Nasser reads and discusses his novel Land of No Rain. The book surrounds the main character, an exiled citizen of the fictional Arab country of Himya, which is run by military commanders handing down power from one generation to the next. On his return to his homeland, the character encounters friends and family, but also has to face his own self or the person he left behind. The book read and discussion takes place at the Notting Hill Gate Library in West London on Thursday, 13th of November. And for more information, you can go to rbkc.gov.uk. The jazz quartet Hijaz will be performing for the London Jazz Festival this year. It is the group that has sprung between Tunisian master oud player Mufadil Adum and Greek-Belgian pianist Nico Deman. Based on the dialogue between these two instruments, Hijaz is a close quartet exploring the differences and similarities in culture and creating harmony and musical beauty. The concert will be kicking off on Friday 14th of November and for tickets and information go to richmonds.org.uk. The Science Museum in London is hosting talks about science fiction and the relationship between arts and science. Called the ultimate bridge between science and the arts, could exploring this relationship enable the next generation to envision an alternative future of the Middle East? And can inventive forms of art, film and literature help to inspire new waves of scientific development in the Arab world today and beyond? These inspiring talks will be led by Samira Ahmed and take place on Saturday 15th of November. For more information, visit sciencemuseum.ac.uk. Now, let's take a look at what's up in the Middle East. The MENA region's lead animation and creative arts and design event, Joe Animate, is hitting the spotlight this Wednesday in Jordan. The festival covers, covers various dif disciplines, including hands-on training and workshops for talented in individuals and young professionals to interact and learn from international industry experts on new trends and technologies in animation, design and production. The festival also gives the chance for talented individuals to shine and show their capabilities through a competition for short animated movies with an award ceremony for the top five films. This all-encompassing high-activity festival takes place on Wednesday the 12th and Thursday the 13th of November. And for more information, just go straight to joanimate.com. The lovely Lebanese actress Rola Hamada is back with her one-woman show, Sit Lamia, at the Theatre Gemeise in Beirut, Lebanon. The play, written by Gerard Avedisian, is about 46-year-old Sit Lamia in Montreal. Her children are gone and her husband ignores her. She wants to know what happened to the dreams of the young Lamia before her marriage and exile to Canada. You can catch this play every night up until Sunday the 16th of November. And for more information, just visit her Facebook page on facebook.com slash And finally, let's take a look at this week's recommended Arabesque episode. What is perceived as possible and what is improbable? What are the improbable possibilities in our physical world? British Iraqi artist Atiyar Mousavi explores that in his latest exhibition at the IM Gallery, Improbable Possibilities. We had a chat to him about life and art, and you can see our exclusive with him on levant.tv slash arabesque. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope your diary will allow you to visit one of these wonderful works and that you will have a great evening. See you next week for more tips on where to see the best events from the Middle East and North African communities here in the UK and in the Middle East. Till then, take good care.